with more than half the year gone, we're now getting some decent price drops on 2023 OLED TVs. So I thought it would be a good time to do an overview comparison of mid-range OLEDs from the big three manufacturers, namely the LG C3 OLED EVO, the Samsung S90C QD OLED, and the Sony AATL OLED. Looking at this top TV deals page on Best Buy who have kindly sponsored this video, let's start with the LG C3 which is likely to be the best selling 2023 OLED TV for the year ahead. The 55, 65, 77 and 83 inch models are equipped with deuterium based WBE OLED panels which are more efficient, marketed as OLED EX by OLED panel supplier LG Display. Measured using a calorimetry research CR100 calorimeter profile to a CR250RH spectroradiometer, peak brightness on our 65-inch LG C3 review unit came in at 820 nits on a 10% window in HDR filmmaker mode and 125 nits full fill, with impressively accurate PQ EOTF tracking out of the box without further calibration. In other words, if you buy an LG C3 OLED, you should be able to enjoy a refined, accurate HDR presentation that respects the creative intent once you switch to filmmaker mode and disable the energy saving setting. Of course, if you want an even greater level of color fidelity, the C3 can also be 3D LUT calibrated, especially now that the latest release of Kalman has added AutoCal support for LG's 2023 Alpha 9 series TVs including the C3 and G3. Besides fixing the internal test pattern generator for 2022 and 2023 models, every LG C3, including this 65 inch version, is blessed with 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, which means you can hook up 3 HDMI 2.1 sources, such as a Sony PS5, an Xbox Series X, and a high end PC with Nvidia or AMD graphics card, and still have one HDMI socket left for eARC connection. And when you add class leading input lag and accurate PQ EOTF tracking with HGIG engaged to the equation, the LG C3 is certainly one of the best TVs you can buy for playing games in 2023. For all the criticisms directed towards WRGB OLEDs, such as dark uniformity issues and uneven color tinting on some panels, as well as near black chrominance overshoot artifacts, the biggest appeal of the LG C3 is that things just work. You can watch movies in an accurate manner, and you can play 4K 120Hz games from the PS5, Xbox Series X or a PC without any hiccup. It's a good, solid all-round package. Next, let's talk about the Samsung S90C, whose QD OLED panel delivers class-leading screen uniformity, cleaner near-black handling without flashing artifacts, wide viewing angles without off-axis tinting, and high color luminance. In fact, its HDR peak brightness of 1000 nits and full screen brightness of 200 nits will outperform the LG C3 and the Sony AATL when it comes to light output, which should translate to the most impactful HDR among this trio. While the hardware in terms of the QD OLED panel is fantastic, the software on the Samsung S90C can test your patience. What with its suboptimal motion processing and clunky smart TV interface. Samsung's image processing philosophy on the S90C also continues to favor artificial pop over outright accuracy, which is particularly frustrating on the gaming front, given the TV's class leading input lag, 4 full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports, natively high color luminance, and 144Hz refresh rate the last of which is not supported by any other non-Samsung OLED TV on the market at this time of filming. Between the LG C3 and the Samsung S90C, I think the S90C has the better hardware, whereas the C3's software is more polished, if that makes sense. And if you are considering buying the Samsung S90C QD OLED, the smart money should be on the 77-inch version, which is almost guaranteed to carry the latest generation 2023 QD OLED panel, and has higher HDMI 2.1 bandwidth than the flagship S95C, whose HDMI ports are capped to 40 gigabits per second due to the One Connect box. Sony's mid-range OLED TV for 2023 is the Brava AATL series. Sony TVs generally command a higher launch price and undergo less discounts than similarly spec models from rival manufacturers. 
but some potential buyers are willing to pay this price premium for the Japanese brand's class-leading native gradation, upscaling and motion handling, all of which apply to the AATL OLED 2. Furthermore, we thought the Acoustic Surface Audio Plus system on the Sony AATL sounded noticeably better than the internal speakers on the LG C3 and the Samsung S90C. For some reason, Sound quality on every 2023 TV we've tested from these two South Korean brands has taken a step backwards compared to 2022 models. On the flip side, the Sony AATL doesn't go as bright as the LG C3 and the Samsung S90C for watching HDR content, and its gaming credentials are let down by slightly higher input lag in VRR mode, only two HDMI 2.1 ports, and no HDRG support. Now, Regardless of which OLED TV you buy, some of you may be worried about OLED burn-in. Even though OLED TVs these days have so many anti-screen burn measures built in that the risk of permanent burn-in is minimal, as long as you vary the content you display on screen. However, if you are that sort of person who wants absolute peace of mind, then Best Buy actually sells a warranty plan called Geek Squad Protection that can cover your OLED against hardware failure for up to 5 years, which includes screen image burning according to the terms and conditions. Very few other US retailers offer a warranty that covers OLED burning, so this is another reason to purchase your next OLED TV from Best Buy. If so, please use the links in the YouTube description below which will help support the highly technical work we do on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Now, once you have purchased an OLED TV and started watching some content, you may encounter some weird anomalies without knowing what they are. To learn more about these anomalies and how to fix them, please watch my explanation video by clicking here.